kind of chilly today and the visibility isn't that great. There's like clouds everywhere, at least in this section anyways. And what's going on today? I guess the first thing was this was everywhere. Was this going to be World War III? Apparently there was missiles that got launched in Poland and all these headlines here. They're all saying, for example, it's Russian missiles. Like, read all this. Fierce missile strikes in Poland could provoke wider war. Russian missiles reportedly struck a Polish village. Russian missile striking natals, I guess, area. So would that be a declaration of war and all that? But as the day went by, that didn't seem to be the case anyways for some of the investigation. Now apparently Russia was firing missiles at Ukraine and it would appear like with these articles, the missile could have been a Ukrainian missile that for whatever reason it misfired. Like this one says, Poland says missile that hit it was Ukrainian stray, easing concern of escalation. Biden says unlikely missile fire from Russia. Moscow says missile was Ukrainian air defense S-300. A missile that hit Poland was probably a stray fired by Ukrainians air defense and not a Russian strike. Poland and NATO said on Wednesday, easing global concern that the war in Ukraine could spill across the border. That would have been a disaster, huh? Although with that said, still a lot of war-related news. How about this one? It was kind of interesting as it showed pictures of a downed drone. It seemed like it was a Mavic 3. It says, another Ukrainian provocation, another drone shot down the border with Ukraine. Pinsk border guards, 100 meters from the Belarusian-Ukrainian border, discovered a quadcopter heading from the Ukrainian side to the territory of the Republic of Belarus. The incident occurred today, November 16th, in the Kobrin district. The drone was shot down by a border detachment from a Kalashnikov assault rifle. The quadcopter was equipped with a video camera and was used for reconnaissance and filming of technical means of border protection on the territory of Belarus. And as mentioned, there were a lot of pictures of the drone shot down. I guess that definitely won't be working anymore, huh? Although it was kind of interesting because in one picture you can see it seemed like there was a battery attached to it on the outside. Was it trying to deliver the batteries or were they doing a modification to try to increase battery life? I've seen attachments like that before where some people put an extra battery on top of the drone to make it last for like an hour or something like that. Everybody wanting to use a drone for war, I guess, huh? Even this one here says, Drone hits Israeli-linked tanker. Iran frees two Greek tankers. An oil tanker associated with an Israeli billionaire has been struck by a bomb-carrying drone off the coast of Amman amid heightened tensions with Iran, officials said Wednesday. Meanwhile, Greece said Iran freed two Greek oil tankers held by Tehran since May. The drone attack on the Liberian flag oil tanker Pacific Zikron happened Tuesday night off the coast of Amman. One Mideast based defense official told the Associated Press, the official was not authorized to discuss the attack publicly and spoke on condition of anonymity. The Pacific Zircon is operated by Singapore-based Eastern Pacific Shipping, which is a company ultimately owned by Israeli billionaire Eden Offer. The war around the world continues, I guess, unfortunately, huh?
Alright, see you guys later.